My name's Camilla, and I wanted to share my story. So about a year ago, I found out something about myself that changed my life forever. As it turns out, I was switched at birth. A little girl with the same eye and hair color was given back to my biological parents while I was given to the other baby's biological parents. The reason this happened was because the hospital staff had a policy of taking the newborns to do checkups on them after birth to ensure they were functioning properly. Someone mixed things up and did not do their job correctly, resulting in two babies getting switched. But I never would have thought it could have happened to me. It was really weird to find out because my mom and dad, not the biological ones, had always made our heritage really important. Knowing about where we came from was a big deal to everyone in my family. Of course, I don't actually share the same ancestry or bloodline. My parents and I didn't find this out for years though. Growing up, I learned Spanish and was taught all about my culture and the long line of family that had come to the US a long time ago from Mexico. I learned how to cook tons of traditional meals from my grandmother. Grandma taught my mom and both of them showed me how to make mesa dough from scratch. For years, I learned about food and stories of my family. At least at the time, I was sure it was my family. Now I'm kind of confused. As it happens, I'm actually not Latina at all. My biological family is not from Mexico or anywhere like that. I'm not connected to any of the traditions I learned about my entire life. My grandmother got really angry at the doctors while my parents told her the truth about the month after we found out. Apparently, the other girl I was switched with fell ill. And that's when the doctors found out that she was not related to the family that raised her. She got so sick that she passed away. And going through her medical records, someone figured out that I was the other baby in the hospital. It was a very weird funeral. I felt sick when I met my biological parents for the first time. They were so nice to me, but they really missed the girl they knew as their daughter. I think they invited my parents because they wanted other people there that understood the confusing pain they felt. I cannot help but think it should have been me that died. I mean, if we had never switched places, I probably would have been the other one that got sick and she would have been alive and well, going to high school. I cannot look at my family the same way anymore. My parents still love me, of course. They remind me every day. But I think that everyone's trying not to hurt my feelings. I mean, in a way, I'm an outsider that was brought into the family accidentally. I was never meant to learn my grandma's recipes or have a quinceanera. I never belonged with my family from the start. Recently, it was the anniversary of the other girl's death. My parents and I talked about it when the day came. My dad told me that he was lucky that the switch happened because if not, he would have had to bury his little girl. He hugged me tight and he said he never wanted to lose me like that. It struck me as weird because I never thought of it like that before. Could it have been that the other girl was always going to get sick and pass away? If we had not been switched, maybe my parents would have been the ones holding a funeral for their biological daughter. I don't know who's right, but if the switch had not happened, I would certainly not be the same girl. I cannot imagine my life without all the books my mom read to me when I was little. My best friends are my cousins, the sons and daughters of my parents' siblings. Of course I know now that I'm not related to them by blood, but no one seems to mind. I was always family from the day that I was born, so I guess that I'm not entirely out of place. My parents do not seem to wish they had the other girl, just like my biological parents did not really seem interested in having a relationship with me but I'm starting to think we both ended up where we should be. I hope her soul is resting in peace because from what I hear, she was a very kind person. My family is not connected to me by blood, but I think our bond is stronger anyway. I was not born into my culture, but I still inherited it. And for me, my ancestry is really important. I think that it was not that I was meant to die instead of the other girl, but maybe that we were just meant to be switched. Things are still a bit confusing for me, but at least my family's here for me. If you liked hearing my story, leave a comment below and don't forget to like the video. Subscribing to the channel will make sure that you get more content like this. I hope you have a good day and cherish your family. So long!